Uh, <clears throat> Whoa there, tough guy. You can't just barge in here like you own the place. This bar belongs to the Tunnel Snakes. Who do you think you are, huh? Tunnel Snakes? What the hell is a Tunnel Snake? We are, of course. All of us here are bona fide Tunnel Snakes. It's the name of our gang, and we're proud of it. Now, about what I asked you... Wait, this is your bar? I gotta say, it's remarkably well kept, what with the state of the world and all. Yeah, this place is mine. And thanks. Though I'd prefer to consider it owned by the gang, collectively. I stumbled upon it a few years back. And I've spent a lot of time and effort restoring it to pre-war standards. Took a lot of work to make it happen. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, this is Tunnel Snake's property. We rule this bar, and what we say goes. Now answer my fucking question. Hey. I didn't mean any trouble. I figured this place was abandoned, and I thought I'd take a look around. Yeah? Well, it's not. This spot's already been claimed, and I ain't letting it go to some outsider from who knows where. What would it take for you to unclaim it? Because I might be looking to buy, if you're interested. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. You got jokes now, huh? This bar ain't for sale, and we ain't leaving, period. Hey, I'm not an outsider. Boston is my home, too. No shit. I wasn't talking about Boston. I'm talking about the bar. You don't know us, and we don't know you. But that didn't stop you from coming in. Relax. I ain't here to take your bar from you, nor am I looking for a fight. So why don't we all just calm down and talk things through? All right. I guess we can do that. For now. So why don't we start with the handshakes and hellos, huh? Who even are you, anyway? Why don't we start with who you are first? Sure, fine, whatever. I'm Butch Deloria, and if you haven't noticed, I'm the boss of this gang. I built the Tunnel Snakes from scratch, okay? Now it's your turn. Tell me who you are. What made you choose to set up shop here? I mean, downtown is full of raiders and mutants who wouldn't hesitate to put you in the ground. Why did you choose to move into this place and not anywhere else? Hey, if I thought we'd be in any real danger, I would have picked another spot. This place was unoccupied and kind of hidden, so it was good enough to me. I've made it work all this time, and we've barely been bothered aside from you, so I'd say I made the right choice. Now, about your name. What is it? Oh, I've got many names, but most just call me the sole survivor at this point. It's a long story that I'd rather not get into. Well, all right then, sole survivor. Welcome to the home of the Tunnel Snakes. Now, if you're gonna be here, then I got a few ground rules for you. Rule number one, treat me and my gang with respect. We're giving you an olive branch here, and it'd be real bad if you chose not to take it. Rule number two, no weapons get used in here. You start shooting, and we'll make you regret it big time. I ain't burying another tunnel snake, got it? And rule number three, what happens in the bar stays in the bar. No matter what you see or hear, it stays secret. Best for everybody that way. Now, so long as you respect my rules, you're welcome to come and go as you please. Otherwise, I guarantee you it won't be pretty. Capiche? Are the rules really all that necessary, Butch? I'm not here to cause you trouble. And if I were, then we wouldn't even be talking about it. Yeah, wise ass, they are. I don't care what your intentions may or may not be. I need to know we've got ourselves an understanding, or you can leave. What exactly happens if I don't want to play ball? What do you plan on doing? If you don't want to play ball, then we've got nothing to talk about. So if that's really the case, then I'll force you out of here. Dead or alive, what's it gonna be? Yeah, Butch, I understand. You won't have any problems from me. Great. Now, on to other matters. Any chance you'd be looking for a job at the moment? I've got something I think you'd be perfect for if you want it. Well, that depends. What kind of job is it? Well, that's the thing. It ain't so much a job, but more an opportunity. I'm in the market for another tunnel snake, and I think you'd fit the bill. I'm looking for a guy or a girl who ain't afraid of a little dust up and can fight like hell. I need some fearless muscle with a side of smarts. So what I'm offering here is a chance for you to join my crew. I mean, you waltzed on in here without a care in the world, and that says something. Besides, you seem like you can handle yourself just fine. You ain't brain dead, and you're clearly talented. So I want you to join the Tunnel Snakes. Is that something you think you could do? I sure could use another partner after all. 
What do you say? Sure, Butch. I could use a job. Just point me in the right direction and you've got yourself a deal. Oh, yeah. Attaboy, baby. All right, first things first. You can consider yourself a brand new, bona fide tunnel snake. Wear it with pride. Second, I want you to prove that you deserve this opportunity. So, we're gonna go shoot us some bad guys, and I'm gonna see how you fight. Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> what is it now, Chief? I'd like to talk about something else. What else is there to talk about? I'd like to know more about you. What exactly do you want to know about me? So, who are you, Butch? What makes you so unique? Well, that's a question I've been trying to answer for a while now. I'm the leader of the Tunnel Snakes, sure. But what else is there? I mean, I guess you could say I'm a bit of a rebel. I'm certainly not a fan of being told what to do. And at the end of the day, I protect my own. I like living it up with my crew back in the bar. I've never really been one to back down from a fight. And I know my manners and to show respect. In my younger days, I'd boast about being the best. But now that I'm older, I can see it ain't too becoming to do that. I'm ambitious, but realistic. Aside from that, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm the boss of this gang, I treat everyone with respect, and I know what and what not to do. Okay? I'd like to know what you think about the other factions. Okay, sure. What about them? Tell me something about the bigger settlements. Well, there's only a handful of bigger settlements out there. So take your pick. What about Bunker Hill? They've got a pretty decent lock on the local and regional trade networks, right? Bunker Hill is the caravan capital of the Commonwealth, and rightfully so. Not even Diamond City can hold a candle to them. Plus, they're good to us. Word is, though, that they're tied into the railroad. I don't know if it's the truth, but supposedly the railroad uses them to smuggle synths around. And if that's really the case, then it won't be long before the Institute comes knocking. I certainly wouldn't want to be there when that shit happens. What do you think about Good Neighbor? Hancock's doing a decent enough job controlling the ruffians, right? Controlling? Hancock doesn't exactly control Good Neighbor and its people all that much. They're all anarchists, but I guess it's safer than nothing. Do you think Diamond City is a good place to be? They're doing pretty good for themselves in this post-war hell, right? Yeah, Diamond City ain't bad at all. They're not my favorite place called DC, but they're a good bunch in my mind. I visit there every now and again. They've been real nice to us tunnel snakes, and they allowed us to stick around when we first got here, so they've got some good karma in my book. I'm done talking about the bigger settlements. All right, cool. Then who's next? I want to know what you think about the smaller groups out there. Which of the smaller fish do you care to hear about? I want to know what you think about the bigger players. Okay, sure. Which one of the big wigs? Do you think the railroad is right to try and save synths? Not really, no. The only synths I've seen are those Terminator-style robots. The ones that'd kill you on sight just for fun. How do you save that? Besides, word is the Institute's onto them. Like flies on shit. So if you ask me, the railroad's as good as done for. End of the line and everything. Give me your thoughts on the Brotherhood. They've got some serious firepower, huh? Oh yeah, they do. I've encountered the Brotherhood before, back in the Capital Wasteland. And I really hope they brought Liberty Prime here with them. However, the Brotherhood's got a morality issue now. Back then, they were undoubtedly the good guys, and they truly cared about their fellow man. Now, though, they seem more inclined to shoot you than to help you. And that's a really big fucking problem. I just don't get what the hell changed. But I hope they can get past the whole tyrannical dictatorship thing they've got going on. I want the old brotherhood back, the way it used to be. What do you think of the Minutemen? The Minutemen have got a long road ahead of them. I think they're definitely a good bunch, sure. But good intentions alone aren't enough in the end. To do what they want to do, they'd need an army. A big, cohesive army standing behind one hell of a charismatic leader. And that's just the beginning. So uniting the Commonwealth and giving it a proper government is gonna be a big ask. But if they can pull it off, then the Snakes would support them. Give me some more options. More options, coming right up. So here you go. Ever heard of the Enclave? Oh, I ain't just heard of them, I've fought them. Back in the capital wasteland, those dumb fucks were trying to poison everyone's drinking water. 
So as far as I'm concerned, the Enclave can get fucked. And if any of them survive that shit, I'll whack them again. The Tunnel Snakes will see to it. Are you a fan of the Institute? God, no. Who in their right mind would back the Institute? They're the Commonwealth's boogeyman, and they're responsible for all those killer synths. I'd surely like to give their leader a kick in the ass. Bunch of dumb fucks, shitting on the rest of us for no good reason. I hope they all collapse. Ever heard of the NCR? Apparently, they sent one of their generals in a military expedition up here to Boston. Yeah, I've heard of them. Supposedly, they won a war against this wannabe Roman Empire called the Legion back out west. But that could just be talk. So if they sent a general and some troops up this way, then we'd better dig in for a fight and fast. I don't want to be caught in a shootout with them. Now, whether or not they mean well is irrelevant. I certainly wouldn't mind extending them an olive branch, but if they want to fight, they'll get it. So, just be careful around them. We don't really know what the West Coast looks like, nor what their intentions are and what they brought with them. I'm done talking about the major factions. Yeah, fuck the big guys. I think I've heard enough about the factions, for now. Yeah, I agree. I'm done talking about them, too. So what's next? We're done talking for now. Let's keep moving. All right, then. Lead the way. Hail the People's Republic.